So I'm going to create a, a sphere and I'm going to cut it in half by creating a box around that sphere. And it's kind of small here, but let's give it a radius of say 120. So now we have something larger. And we have basically a box surrounding a sphere in this instance. Um, and now what I want to show is how you pick just one of the planes using list item. And uh, if you're new to this and you don't know how it works, this is basically how it works. We can hide that geometry and then here we can deconstruct. So uh, what deconstruct viewer up does is takes that whole uh, square that whole box and it breaks it down into the faces edges and vertices and that's what you can see here so I'm gonna hide that and if we wanted to pick just one of these faces what we would do is use a list item so let's go here to list item and I'm gonna unpreview this and plug in the faces here on the list now as you can see we have now selected just one of the faces and that's what this uh, list item does and if we wanted to go and pick a different one, we can say zero is this is this one. That's what the default does. And we use the slider to change uh, to whatever face we want, and then it starts cycling from the beginning again. So one of the other things is if you plug in all of your faces into this list, uh, and you have you've got one of the sides maybe that you didn't want, you might want maybe one of the top or the bottom ones. You can always go here and reverse the list um, how it's basically done one through six um, it'll actually invert it and give you on this instance it gives you the top one so that's why uh, we use list item so we can pick one or more we can also copy this one here and bring in more than one item so let's delete this and if we wanted to split this in half, we can move that plane in the Z direction and bring it a negative value of 120. Now we have that plane in the middle and we can split the B rep using this sphere and the cutter. And one of the reasons why you also might want to use list item or learn how to use it is because once you split things, you need to select one of the two faces that just splits it in half. So let's go to an item and then we can select just one half of that. We have our dome shape that we can now develop. So that's just how you use list item. And I wanted to give you guys an idea of how it works. So hopefully you learned something and uh, you, um, yeah, you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time.